So I've uh, distributed some uh, paper. So I hope that uh, many of you have also a pen. If not, we can try to share and actually uh, distribute some pen. So let me go back. Okay, so yeah, we'll have a few sessions. The last few sessions of uh, uh, Hackerware, basically, I've been uh, trying to to think of a quiz, something to do uh, with everybody, just to be uh, really trying to, to capture all the stuff that we've been learning by some uh, presentation over the last one or two years. Uh, really, the important thing of, uh, of this is just to try to spend like you know, 10 minutes, I think it's only five questions, and it's uh, just to get people uh, uh, reminded of what we've learned, or what we've basically discovered over the last uh, few, I mean, many, many sessions. And the idea also is that the price that will be given uh, probably in the next session uh, come from uh, a lot of things that have been accumulated, including books, uh, bits and pieces. So uh, there is no, okay, I will go through the, the slide first. So it's a small quiz, four question, four possible answers, only one right. So don't put uh, basically uh, all the questions, all the answers. Uh, it's only the, the right one which we can so uh, pen and paper with all this. Uh, results in, uh, I guess, the next uh, hardware session. Uh, no losers, no winners, really just for fun. And uh, I will uh, give some hardware and including some books, a few books to, uh, to give away. So let's start if everybody's uh, ready. So the questions are, <coughs> About uh, IoT, FPGA, electronics, things that should uh, be simple and things that should be uh, a bit more hard if you've uh, been listening to some previous uh, session of hardware. Uh, so I will try to go uh, slowly. Uh, there's not no, no much question on time. Uh, and go through uh, all the different uh, questions. Are you ready? Okay, so first question. So this question is about the basics of electronics. We all building and designing circuits. So resistors are the essential, of the essential element of electronics. So as you know, they are the bands of colors. And uh, there are three bands, the first and the second and third digit. Then there's a the multiplier. And the last one is the tolerance. So everybody knows that the tolerance of 5% uh, is the color gold. 10% uh, is silver. But what is the color of 1%? So, either brown, red, or orange, yellow. I tried to simplify the, the solution. And on your paper, you should just put the name of the color. Uh, I guess uh, I would think that half of, half of you have been uh, using electro uh, resistors. Of course, these days, uh, super smart today. So, they don't have really color, they're all, all yellow and orange. Uh, no access to the internet, uh, Roland. <laughs> Okay, good. Everybody's ready for the second question? Okay, so as you already know, my uh, interest is mainly in FPGA. So the tool of uh, designing is called Vivado. And uh, we know that uh, FPGA is actually quite electronics, uh, quite expensive uh, piece of kit. So the development boards are getting cheaper and cheaper, but in terms of software development, uh, I often repeated this in uh, my talks, is a uh, Vivado design suit is uh, either $100 US, either $100, 100 Euro, 100 uh, Malaysian ringgit, or is it free? Or all this you can Google them later. <laughs> this is one of the main points for me to, you know, motivate people to start to do some FPGA. And I need to go to a job. Um. <laughs> okay, question number three. So transistors. Uh, in my old days, uh, I used to use the TO3 to uh, do some uh, audio amplifiers, and also power supplies that to have uh, some of these. So we all, uh, all used to the TO92. That's all your transistor that we use to drive LEDs and everything. The TO220 uh, 
This is used a package of, uh, of uh, usually a uh, voltage regulator. Uh, TO3 is uh, less usual, tend to drive some, some proper amp into some uh, speakers. But what is the other one, which is usually uh, transistors uh, using uh, HF, HF or, or, or that sort of uh, electronics? So it's either TO7, TO13, TO18, or TO51. I've also learned it today, so. Okay. Too difficult? Too easy? I think listening to some, some talk we've we had with the uh, with Baoshi uh, on some regulators and the amount of heat they can dissipate, etc. So the package of, of, of uh, components is usually very uh, important. Okay? Question number four. So this is really uh, a nice picture. I think they will be IoT, uh, don't worry. So, uh, Xenix uh, has uh, in the FPGA uh, hardware some DSP slice. Uh, and at the top of the range of the latest uh, FPGA uh, from Xenix has this DSP48E. So is it E1, E2, E5, or E extended? It's come from uh, from my recent purchase of a, a new uh, FPGA, which which have one of these. Of course, I find a little smiley that that not high to, to answer actually. But this one specific FPGA, probably too difficult. <laughs> okay, I think this one is really basically look. Yeah. Okay, question number five. So sometimes when you use a trick, you have some electrons. And uh, because really in my years of electrics, uh, I always usually tend to not to use the electors. Uh, these days you use that for the power, some regulators, etc. But an inductor um, is uh, using this standard unit of Johnny, <laughs> Harry, Terry, or Henry. I was looking for some pictures, I find like actually too many footballers have those names, so it's a bit difficult. Which one? Which one? The old guy, Mr. Henry. Oh, okay. Yeah, it kind of gives away because he is the only okay. one. But if I put Henry as a footballer, then I had two footballers. Then I thought that you know the crowd would go like, ah, one against the other. I get this one. Actually, Harry, yeah, Harry, I could use the prince. Okay, question six. Um, due to the different behavior in frequency domain, uh, the, the network. Uh, Compromising uh, using a, a capacitor and a resistor is known to be. So we have different paths. So one is a low pass LP, the other one is a band pass BP, the other one is a high pass HP, and you have the EP because this is in Singapore. So you have to find out which network is actually uh, uh, the right one. I'm a PR now, so I, my skills have to be some different. We all of us are using circuits like this to, uh, to help in our, in our design and IoT stuff. That's different. Okay. Question number seven. FPG again. So, over the years, uh, Xanis progressively introduced uh, as its family of FPGA. The Spartan, the Vitex, the Kintex, the Artix, and now the Ultrascale. So, which one of these, Spartan 7, Vitex 7, Kintex 7, or Artix 7, is the most recent? And this one actually has a very uh, good link to, our, to IT, because it's actually uh, a family of FPGA which is supposed to be low power, uh, not so much processing, but more of a low power and quite a lot of things. So, they are sort of targeting the IoT. Uh, 
market to business. They will look the same. Okay. Question number eight. Electrons. So when the capacitors, when capacitors are arranged in parallel, the union capacitance is the sum of those. But when they are arranged in series, what is the equivalent capacitance? So these should be the, the basic rules for you, you know, when you design your your thing. Uh, so the first first one is if you have the first one plus twice the second one plus third, three times the third one, that kind of arrangement. Or you multiply all the values. Or the inverse of the equivalent is the sum of the inverse of all of them. Or even more clever, you use the medium median value of all of them. That would be a first. So I think these are the, the basics of electronics or hackerware. This will be some sort of a interview question for how you guys. What is this using PS5s and all these simulation software? So you don't really need to know. You just put values and simulate, simulate, simulate. Okay? Question number nine hardware. If one makes a trade off between flexibility, programming attraction, performance, area and power efficiency and cost, let's say, which of the following is the coolest technology around? You use a CPU, a GPU, an FPGA, or an ASIC. So I think this one, I find it actually the coolest because you like it. It's a trade off. It's a trade off. So cool means, I mean, cool means cool, cool. There's an extra point for this one. I like the, the black arrow uh, acid developed from uh, from with my inconvenience. That's it's quite a good one. I mean, uh, when you design your IoT, you have to make some trade-off between you know, power, processing, speed, etc., uh, etc. Et okay, question number ten. IoT. IoT is a very hot topic. So to give an idea of scale, uh, it was reported that in 2014, uh, about 18.6 billion microcontrollers were sold. I find that into uh, some news. And in 2016, 10.4 billion of RFID tag were sold. So how many billions of IoT devices do you think will be by 2020? So I said 50 billion. That's sort of prediction. No one knows. So apparently no one knows actually a music group. I didn't know. That's the only picture I find from Google. Thank you Google for giving me the picture. A trillion. So those numbers become quite new. So I was looking at the number of zeros so far. A billion, a trillion. And then 256 billion. I like 256. I don't know why. So hopefully in 2020 we can have our Hackerware version, you know, 1,600 or something like that. And we can look at uh, the number of uh, IoT devices. And you know, for sure, there will be billions of them. Question number 11. Looking around in the uh, IoT sphere and uh, looking at the interfaces, because that's really uh, uh, quite cool. And, you know, uh, so currently, most of us are using uh, one wire, RS232, ASCOIC, SPI, etc. But recently, uh, MIP Alliance introduced a new paper, white paper, on some interface. So, is it one? And it's 696. Basically, you're tripling your, your serial port. Is it uh, an SPI extended with some very, uh, very similar timing of the SPI from the port? Is it a new USB 4, which has four ports? So, or is it a uh, IQC, which will come uh, probably end of the year with some 
some prototype or some, some new chips. So you have to look for this one. This one may or may not be the, the future, but I could bet on it that there will be a lot of interest on it. Including USB 4, because after USB 2, USB 3, USB 3C, or some sort of new, there will be USB 4 too. But probably not, not this packaging. <laughs> SPI, SPI is quite a kind of interface. You can really uh, pump quite a lot of data on SPI, so probably uh, have some revision also later. Okay. Last question. So I went to some uh, IoT talk uh, with the IoT, I can't remember the name, actually, that meeting group. It's in uh, uh, every Thursday of the month, one Express Thursday evening. Express Express yes, yeah. So. There was a talk about SIPOS, uh, no advertisement, I'm French, but that's not, 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 not the issue. Um, and they actually have the company called Unalis in Singapore, and they've released this little, little board uh, which has a SIPOS uh, chip. And when you buy it, it's actually through the subscription. That's the thing I wanted to really confirm. So I was asking for the price, and also whether people would be interested to have a workshop with it. If you organize a workshop and you have uh, I think 10, 25, 50 people, then you can get some discounts. So later on, I will provide the discounts. I mean, I will tell you what is a discount. Um, so the question is how much it cost? That little shield, not much on it, the chip until I think a couple of uh, connectors. So is it $20? Does the green uh, is Revolutionize IoT in Singapore and give it for free. $20 actually. Uh, is that a real bank note? I've never seen one. Or a new one. Okay. Is, it, is it real? Is it one? Okay. Uh, is it $65? Yeah. Or is it just $100? So this is the point that you know, we have to guess. And maybe later on you could be interested to actually ask people what do they expect that should to be to be affordable and, and push the Sigfox IoT development. Maybe we can uh, give, you know, give our, our input into, into this, uh, this aspect. Okay, so I think this was the last one. Uh, so if you uh, finish to just you know, write your name and, and, and put the right, the right answers on the, on, on the piece of paper, so I will uh, look, at, look through them, and then uh, in the next session I will uh, Probably provide 20 or maybe 30 gifts. I will see how many, how many stuff I can find in my uh, in my place. And uh, there will be all sorts from very heavy books to small electronic stuff that hopefully you can find useful uh, yourself. Thank you very much.